This is a small video to show you what a ton C safety connector uh, can do for our reef tanks. Uh, it can be a lifesaver. In my case, I lost a lot of fish and corals in the past due to a power uh, outage. So I'm just getting prepared here to show you how this small unit works and it's real simple, uh, but it, you know, it, you need to, I wanted to show you exactly so you guys that have never done it uh, can see how simple it can be done, okay? Uh, the Tansy connector is right there. That's a small unit. And you can see this is the pump, uh, one of the Tansy uh, tour bells. In this case, this is the tour bell stream number three. And I also will be hooking up a tour bell 1694. Both of them are uh, controllable. So the small unit, the, the way it works is you get the house current that, that is powering the, uh, the power head. With this unit, it allows you to connect with this small cable right here to a battery. Now in my case, the cable came here with this little adapter so you can connect to, to the cables that you're gonna be using to your battery, but I didn't like the unit. So I cut it off and uh, got this adapter here that I got online right there. And then I got a two into one for the two pumps that I'm gonna be using. And that's the battery. Now the battery comes with these cables right here. It even has a fuse, which is really important to have. And then it ended on that connector right there. Well, that's what caused me to look online and I found this other one. And then it's got two into one, got another, another small piece here that I was able to adapt it to when I cut this off right there. I cut it off and then put the adapter there. So now it, it's a quick dis disconnect very nicely. So I'm gonna show you right now, the pump is running with the house current. So to, to hook this up, uh, the, uh, the Tansy safety connector, I'm gonna show you how it goes. So the cable that comes from the wall, this is the powers the whole unit, you can see one off. That plug has to go into this uh, safety connector. So you're gonna plug it right there. And then this cable, which is the one at the bottom, and it says there, uh, turbel pump, is the one that is gonna come and plug into here. There. So now you're running, this unit is keeping track of things right now we have power from the wall, as you can see right here. It comes from the wall, and this is how you normally will have this pump working. And let's say the power goes off. In that case, this is the power from the wall. Let's say it goes off, and then this will automatically switch to the battery. And you can see that it immediately it does it. See that? Never lost any power. Now, how long would the uh, power head run? It would depend on the battery that, that you use for the system. In my case, I'm using fairly, one of the bigger batteries that they have. It's a lead acid battery, it's sealed. And what I did is I bought this small charger right there. You can see it, the battery tender. And this is a, a little unit that is gonna keep the battery. As you can see, it's, it hooks up right there. It's gonna keep it charged the whole time so that way anytime the power goes off we'll always have power to our power heads. <laughs> 